Hi, my name is Matthew Cassidy, and I work here at Yandex in the International Sales Department. And our topic for today's video is the Yandex Advertising Network. One of every three clicks in Yandex Direct comes from the Yandex Advertising Network. It is made up of tens of thousands of sites on different platforms. To take advantage of the full range of possibilities offered by the Yandex Advertising Network, you need to properly configure your campaign. In today's lesson, we will look at the important moments you should pay attention to as you create and optimize your ad campaigns for ad networks. The checklist presented in this lesson was put together by a team of Yandex employees involved with the Yandex Advertising Network, both from the technical side as well as from the international sales team. We recommend saving this video in your favorites so that you can refer back to it in the future. What the Yandex Advertising Network offers first and foremost is additional reach. There is minimal overlap between the audience of Yandex Search and the Yandex Advertising Network. Roughly 200,000 advertisers already use the Yandex Advertising Network as a source of additional traffic. This also includes the premium traffic from the Yandex Video Network, Kinopoisk, described as Russia's IMDb, and other large video platforms. The variety of formats available in the Yandex Advertising Network is significant. A combination of host sites, mobile apps, smart TV apps, in-video ads, turbo pages, as well as digital outdoor advertising. The Yandex Advertising Network is growing both in terms of overall traffic amounts and in terms of conversions. Traffic from the Yandex Advertising Network has grown by 50% over the past two years. We regularly add new formats, and we are always working to improve our existing ones. And CTR continues to grow as a result. There are certain industries that get more than 50% of their traffic from the Yandex Advertising Network. For the real estate, automotive, financial services, and insurance industries, for example, the Yandex Advertising Network is a significant arena for interaction with new customers. At the same time, however, there are other industries which have not yet realized the full potential that the Yandex Advertising Network can offer. Some advertisers are reluctant to purchase traffic in the Yandex Advertising Network, as they consider that the conversion rates for this traffic are too low. The truth is that conversion rates vary by industry, with some, like fashion and gaming, getting more than 30% of their conversions from the Yandex Advertising Network. If you want to raise the conversion rates of your campaigns for ad networks, this video is for you. We'll share some life hacks that will help you reach the goals you've set for the Yandex Advertising Network, whether they be higher conversion rates, a certain CPA, or ROI. First, let's look at the formats. To take advantage of all of the Yandex Advertising Network's potential and reach all users in your target audience, it's vital that you use all available ad formats. These currently include image ads, video ads, smart banners, and text and image ads with possible video extensions. Each site in the Yandex Advertising Network features different size ad slots. Logically, if you want your ads to appear on all possible sites, you should make sure that you are using all the available ad formats. Let's start with text and image ads. The images in this format can be standard and wide format. We strongly recommend you add both formats to make sure your ads appear with images as often as possible. Images can be cropped depending on the size of the ad block. To avoid situations in which the images in your ads display incorrectly, we recommend you load images without text. If the image features a logo, it should not take up more than 20% of the surface of the image. Make sure that the ad title and image are relevant to what you are advertising. Users should be able to see a clear link between your ad's text and image, the landing page, and the product or service being advertised. If potential customers do not see this link, the ad is bound to have higher bounce rates. On the screen, you can see a good example of this. Pictures of cats are immensely popular in the internet, but if you are advertising a French bakery, it makes more sense to show a croissant instead of a kitten. Also, remember to check how well your site's mobile version works, that is, the page's load speed, as this can have a big impact on a user's decision to place an order. So let's sum up what we've discussed about the variety of formats in ad networks. Use all the image formats available. Avoid images with built-in text. Make a clear connection between your ad, landing page, and the product. 
And now let's move on to the second, but no less important step, and speak about writing ad texts. Make sure your ad text reflects what you are advertising. Mention what you are offering in the title of text in image ads or in bold text in image ads. This is important as there are cases in which only the ad title and image appear. Make sure that the ad title provides information about the product or service being advertised. Adapt your ad texts for different audiences. You can use the same creative with different texts to target different audiences. Once you segment your audience, you should write separate ad texts for each of them and set bids for them. Once you have launched your campaign with these varying segments, you should also assess each segment's performance. On this slide, we can see two ads based on the same creative. On the left, the ad text aims to attract users to the specific brand, whereas the text on the right aims at a broader audience. Make sure you have added all possible additional ad extensions, display link, callouts, site links, to increase the number of ways your ad can appear. If there are restrictions related to your product or service, you should mention them in your ad text. In some cases, like with medical products, this can be the only way to definitively exclude users outside your target audience. Let's round up what I've said about this second point. Make sure your ad text reflects what you are advertising. Use different ad texts to respond to the diversity of your potential customers. Add all possible ad extensions. And clearly show any product restrictions. And the last thing you should pay attention to before launching your campaign for ad networks is the campaign settings. In ad networks, broad keywords are just as effective as narrow ones. The choice of which to use depends on your budget. The more limited your budget, the better an idea it is to use narrower, more relevant keywords. Later on, you can expand your reach with broader keywords if necessary. In ad networks, it is especially important to use operators prudently. Overusing them can significantly reduce your reach. Only apply those negative keywords and operators that filter out audiences or sites outside your target audience. Use negative keywords to exclude related but irrelevant queries for reviews, photos, etc. of similar products. Avoid using quotation marks in ad networks as they limit the variety of host sites. Users become more valuable as they travel through the sales funnel, so it makes sense to base your bids on how close a user is to making a purchase. Yandex offers tools like Yandex Metrica and Yandex Audience that make it easier to segment users along these lines. We recommend you segment users by ROI or their location in the sales funnel and raise bids for the most active customers. Set bid adjustments based on demographic, geo, or device type immediately if you already have statistics for ad networks. If you haven't served ads in ad networks before, wait a week and set bids based on accumulated CPA data in different sections. This slide is especially important if you are using automatic strategies with a weekly budget limit. When advertisers set weekly budgets that are too strict, there are two typical consequences. First, their impressions become sporadic, and second, the strategy is unable to maintain the CPA they set. The first thing many advertisers do in this situation is lower their CPA, which leads to their ads winning fewer auctions and getting fewer conversions as well as to the weekly budget not being spent. Moreover, since CPA is measured over the course of a week, changing the CPA forces the strategy to restart its calculations, delaying the results that the campaign is supposed to bring. We are talking about an overall drop in the campaign's performance, since the bids are insufficient to win auctions for impressions on high-quality host sites. What can you do if you end up in this situation? After all, Weekly budget limits do, in fact, affect your reach and your CPA. You can increase your weekly budget, narrow your reach, leave keywords that perform well, add negative keywords, set negative bid adjustments for less effective audiences, exclude host sites with bad performance. If you have already implemented the first and second points, or you cannot implement them, you should lower your target CPA. 
Let's sum up what we've learned about setting up campaigns for ad networks. Carefully choose your keyword list. Use negative keywords and operators prudently. Increase your bids in relation to the level of customer engagement. And analyze the effects of your weekly budget. All of the steps listed here will help you create a new campaign or optimize an existing one so that you can meet the goals you have set for your business. But that's not all. We've got some bonus material for you. Modify your bid adjustments in proportion to deviation from target values. For example, CPA for your target audience, women aged 18 to 25, is 20% higher than the target value. To figure out which bid adjustment you should make, use the formula below. On this slide, you can see two examples of how you can use segments of similar users. A few more tips concerning blocked sites. Only disable sites that perform badly in your experience. Review your blacklist once a month or quarter. Host sites perform differently over time, and it's a good idea to regularly check that you are not missing out on valuable traffic. Use recommendations in the interface. The interface gives you an idea of which sites from your blacklist could be bringing you high-quality traffic. What should you do if you are getting little traffic, even though your budget allows for more? Expand your campaign. Add broad relevant keywords, branded and competitors queries, optimize your negative keywords, and review the list of blocked host sites. Reassess your bid adjustments and target CPA. Your bids might be too low if the competition is significant. Optimize your campaigns based on your main goals. Ensure that your display criteria are broad enough and that you have enough creatives. And now let's summarize the main points of today's lesson. Modify your bid adjustments in proportion to deviation from target values. Analyze segments of similar users. Regularly review your list of blocked sites. And optimize your campaign based on your main goals. Use the checklist to make sure that all of your settings in campaigns for ad networks are correct. It's important that you continue to experiment, segment, and tweak your campaign to help you reach your goals. As always, thanks for tuning in, and good luck with your campaigns.